Hi, I wanted to do a little explanation um, of problem set lesson eight, number three. And this is sequences of reflections. So it's a, a sequence of two reflections. And they said there's a reflection across L1, line one here, and then a reflection across L2. And these lines are parallel to one another, and that's important. Um, and they said, Think about, can you guess what reflection L1 followed by reflection L2 is the same as, and give an argument for that. And so you had done this where you trans, or reflected point D around point L1, which of course didn't change its location, then reflected it across L2, which brought it over here. Of course, this, is, this would be a, a a line segment that's bisected by line L2 and is actually perpendicular to it. Okay, it comes at a right angle. Um, but that might not have helped very much. So what I want to show you is let's take, instead of translating a point, let's translate a figure. And I'm going to do an arrow because it has, it has a direction. So I've got that figure right there. And the problem says translate it across line one, and then, and I'm going to mark point D here, so translate it across line one, and then um, translate it across line two. So let's do across line one first, um, and it ends up right there. Let's go ahead, and instead of drawing it just on our overhead, we'll draw it on the sheet as well. Okay, so... pretty close. So I got my arrow on the sheet. So if I reflect it about line L1, I get this image. Notice the point that they share that's on the line is shared. That's not important. I could have drawn a figure further over here and I would get the same result. Okay, now I'm told to reflect it, reflect this reflection across L2. So I'm going to make a point P on L2 so I can make sure that's lined up when I flip it. So I'm going to flip it again. Flip it right here. Oh, sorry. It goes here. There's line L2. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Let's mark point P. I always forget to do this. I forget to mark it on my original drawing. Okay. Now, when I reflect across that line, there's point P lined up with point P, I get this, and this is, this is my image right here, this arrow. And so if you've, if you've done exercise eight, you know that the answer to this exercise is that this is the same as a translation along a vector. Okay, and you can see that with our first flip, I had an opposite pointing arrow, but then with the second flip, it moved it and flipped it over and moved it further away. So this really is the same as a translation, and if I draw the vector, and I have it drawn super um, it would be a vector that would map this point to that point. So it's kind of close, not quite. This should be here, like that. Okay, so it would be a vector. This vector is twice the length of the distance between these two lines. So this distance is mimicked over here. And there you have it. So 
in um, what you saw in this problem is that two reflections across parallel lines became the same as a single translation. So um, if you didn't get that, don't worry about it. That's fine. But maybe you could appreciate it now better with the arrows than with the single point that was the example. Although it's the same idea. It's moving it's moving the point twice the distance across. Um, and so it's just a translation or a slide. Okay.